Let's take a look at Gulf Oil Corporation then. Uh, two issues to be covered, obviously. First is their quarter one numbers and how it's performed and overall the, the land development uh, in Hyderabad. We'll be talking about that and more uh, with the management at Gulf Oil, Mr. S. Pramanik. He's the managing director of Gulf, Gulf Oil Corporation. Mr. Pramanik, thanks very much for joining in. Let's start off first uh, with the quarterly earnings itself. Let's get that out of the way. Profit down 33%. Any specific reasons for the same? Yeah, if you uh, really see, uh, we are uh, down only uh, because of the exceptional item. It was, uh, I mean, we are 5.4 crores lower th this uh, quarter over last year's uh, Q1, uh, mainly because uh, that's, uh, you know, these are exceptional items and they don't get repeated uh, regularly. But what you would have noticed is that our EBITDA is uh, really up. It is up by nearly 17.4%. And that's, I think, something which is encouraging for us because that's the operational side of the business. So I feel that uh, the results have been quite good considering that 5.4 crores was not there on the operational exceptional item line. Mm. All right, so you're basically you're saying from next quarter on, this is an exceptional item, uh, they should be on track. Uh, let's get down to specific uh, segments yes, particularly. Yes, that's right. Uh, your lubricants, that's the major chunk of your business. Uh, this time around, pressure being built up because of the weaker rupee? Yes, it, uh, it has affected these results uh, of Q1 by nearly 4.5 crores. Uh, but then uh, we are not talking about it because it's a notional item. To expect to get corrected in Q2. So that's uh, the position. But if you see, there is a pressure on that segment, uh, mainly because uh, of the, uh, I mean, the outlook becoming weak for the automobile sector, OEM demands and all that are slightly down. But if you see our, uh, our position in the bazaar trade, we've really done very well. Uh, we've uh, more or less doing uh, nearly one and a half times better than the, our other competitors in the bazaar segment. So I feel that that segment is very stable as of now, and going forward, we expect very marginal uh, kind of uh, chipping away on, on our volumes. Hmm. Uh, in other uh, issues, Mr. Pramanik, you want to come in on, on the CCI penalty of about 28 or crore rupees that they've put on you? Yes, that's, uh, we have appealed against that, and uh, that's before the compact. So as of now, uh, we've just had two hearings, so it's, it's going on, and we hope to I mean, make our position very clear there. What was the issue there, Mr. Pramani? The issue was that uh, the basic issue, I mean, there are peripheral issues which have come in. The well, basic issue is that we did not participate in the bidding which took place on 4th and 5th of January. Yeah, that's the main issue. All right. Uh, Mr. Pramanik, uh, obviously, you know, uh, with contenders, particularly IOC's explosive division, which is being uh, looked to be acquired by Coal India, any such developments that can be expected at your end as well? No, not as yet. Uh, well, Coal India has just announced that, and uh, well, it, it would affect uh, some of our volumes in our 100% uh, subsidiary ideal explosives. But then we'll have to wait and see how this whole thing develops, and uh, really speaking, um, what kind of development Coal India would do if they take over this uh, organization. All right. So at your end, there's no such development. Aside of that, I mean, you know, let's talk a little bit more about your real realty segment as well. Right now, you're not yet kicked in in a big way, but you've recently had a joint venture with the Hindujas sure. for the Hyderabad land. You want to comment on that a little bit more and how you expect to scale this up? Yes, certainly. I mean, uh, that's been something which we've been working on for the last three years. And uh, if you notice that we've just broken and that uh, work has started just two months ago. We are going full steam over there. 
Now, we felt that this may be the right uh, time then to look at our Hyderabad land, which again we've been, uh, I mean, trying to uh, get into the, I mean, start the work. Uh, but now we feel that things are improving. The Hyderabad uh, demand positions are changing. And therefore, what we've done is that we have agreed to develop 76 acres of land with Hinduja estates. So uh, that's how uh, the whole thing has been uh, looked at. The 76 acres of land development would mean about 10 and a half million square feet of uh, space, of which we would be getting 35 percent. Now, this is, uh, I mean, we, uh, this 35 percent would be given to us without any expenditure from our side. Okay. The total development amounts would be spent by Hindu, Hindu Jaya states. So that's how uh, the whole thing has been structured. We expect to start the, uh, I mean, work uh, in about a year's time. Currently, it's with the architects. And we are doing the final town planning and all those other exercises. And we expect that we should be able to give you some more news in about six months' time. All right, and we'll, keep, we'll uh, wait for that and probably get in touch with you once uh, we get that news. Uh, Mr. Pramanik, thanks very much uh, for joining in. India's number one news app just got even better. Download NDTV's new app, fully optimized for retina display, full screen view, faster response time, and Sudoku. NDTV's new iPad app. Download now.